And I'll give the floor to the permanent representative, representative of Sri Lanka. Mr. President, thank you for giving me the floor. We welcome the commemoration of the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons on uh, the 26th of September as a day of symbolic significance to raise the voice of the community to hum the humanitarian consequences of nuclear weapons and to remind ourselves that in nuclear warfare there are no winners. My delegation aligns itself with the statements submitted by Uganda on behalf of the online movement. Mr. President, nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation are two pillars that go hand in hand, and one cannot be realized without the realization of the other. Together, these two pillars uh, and six internationals, uh, these two pillars, the minimize the risk associated with nuclear weapons and promote the world free of nuclear threats. While tangib tangible progress has been made on the proliferation front with 189 members and two observer states having become parties to the NPT, we are yet to witness meaningful progress in disarmament. With over 1,200 nuclear warheads in existence, sufficient to destroy the planet in hitherto unimaginable proportions, the exceedingly volatile international security scenario and the vitriolic nuclear rhetoric of some nuclear powers must, as of urgency, prevail on the international community to take all such steps to encourage disarmament and move for the total elimination of nuclear weapons. Mr. President, it also remains a cause of concern that qualitative and quantitative improvements in existing nuclear arsenals, as well as the development of new weapon types and delivery systems continue to contradict the undertakings given by nuclear weapon states at NTT review conferences. Sri Lanka as a staunch component of multilateral dis diplomacy and as a party to all major treaties relating to nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation, uh, including the TPNW, uh, reiterates its continued commitment and support to the goal of total elimination of nuclear weapons. When we speak of the total elimination of nuclear weapons, we speak for the, for the whole of humanity. At a juncture in which we have concluded a summit of the future and agreed on, the, on a pact for the future, we should remind ourselves that future generations will reflect a deep-seated hope for a safer and more cooperative world free from the threat of nuclear annihilation. They will judge us on our actions and on our inaction. The total elimination of nuclear weapons is definitely high on that priority list. I thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.